Okay, so you got yourself a Crony model chronograph. In this case, mine is a Crony F1. And they're trying to charge you 60 plus dollars for the indoor lighting kit. Well, here's my solution. Um, let me walk you through it. Uh, what we have here is two pieces of wood. Um, they have a 23 and a half degree hole drilled through them um, on each side obviously and that allows it to mount on the stock uh, rods. Uh, I should say the 23 and a half degrees is for the outside ones. I didn't measure the inside ones but uh, this is 23 and a half degrees. And then I mounted some panel LEDs uh, with black hot glue to the uh, pieces of wood right above the sensors um, and I will take time to show that to you now. Okay so there's the LED panel looks like it's uh, 16 individual surface mount LEDs uh, and like I said it's literally just some black hot glue just glued on there I drilled a hole for the wires to come through filled that up with some black hot glue as well and then uh, got some hot glue just to secure the wires so they stay out of the line of fire. Um, and then yeah, these just mount on there. One goes on first. Um, sorry about my arm here. One goes on first. You kind of have to bend the other one just a little bit to get it started in the uh, in the hole. Um, let's bring this up just a little bit here and make it a little easier for us. Bend this one in a little bit. And there you go you're good to go. Um, so yeah, the system is the same on the rear one. Then I just have it hooked up. These are um, 12 volt, uh, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, these are 12 volt uh, LED panels. You can find these on eBay, Amazon, anywhere you want to go. You'll be able to find these things. They're, they're a dime a dozen. Um, so yeah, plug them in and it uh, shoots. Oops, sorry about that. It's uh, really consistent. Um, I've never had an issue shooting over it as long as you're lined up. Um, don't need the diffusers or anything. It just shines as is and you're good to go. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is, once again, they have a remote so you can scroll through the uh, different menus on the Crony itself. I think they're charging like 20 something, I think it's between 15 and $30 for the remote. It's literally just a, sim a simple single push button. Um, so I will show you my solution to that. It's literally a Kodak slide projector um, advance and previous uh, control. Now you can use anything you want. You can use, you can go out and you know buy a momentary contact push button. If you have some kind of momentary contact switch apparatus already laying around like this thing, you can go ahead and use that. Part of the reason I use this one is it has a ridiculously long cord, which is bundled up right now, obviously. Um, so I can plug this in and then stand quite a ways back uh, where I'm shooting, and I can still scroll through the menus. Um, so yeah, what you need, momentary push button and a headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's what they use. Um, I cut the line, uh, soldered the wires together, the two of them, and uh, yeah, I will show you that it works now. Hopefully this will be visible in the video. Uh, it just plugs into a port on the side. And let's see if we can look at the screen here. Now nothing's really gonna show up just due to the fact that uh, I haven't shot anything over this. But as you can see, it's saying, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Uh, we push our button and it said starting number one, uh, low, that'd be lowest uh, output. Um, starting number one, low, high, um, average, uh, extended spread or something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, standard deviation, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, it'll go over everything. Literally, this, I mean, I had this laying around, so it cost me nothing to make. Um, but there you go. There's some modifications to your Corona F1 so that you can use it indoors or on a cloudy day or a dark day or whatever the, whatever you want to and then uh, remote for advancing through your menus if you have any questions comments concerns 
complaints, whatever you want, um, feel free to uh, do those now. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Uh, check out my previous videos if you this is your first time to my channel. Once again, if you want to. Uh, other than that, I guess that'll be it. Um, yeah, so take care, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.